Hey everybody, uh, this lesson is dividing mixed numbers. So it's pretty much the same as our last lesson when we were dividing fractions, except we have mixed numbers. So we're gonna convert those to improper fractions. I'll show you. So here's our key idea on dividing mixed numbers. So write each number as an improper fraction. I'll remind us, or you can remind us. And then and then we do the same what we did with fractions to keep flip change. So keep the first flat, uh, fraction, flip the second fraction, and change uh, the division to a multiplication. Okay, I have several examples. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is write this as an improper fraction. So 4 times 2 is 8. 8 plus 1 is 9. Okay, so that'll be our new uh, numerator. 4 times 2 plus 1 equals 9. So this becomes 9 fourths right there. Okay, now we do our keep flip change. We'll keep this fraction, we'll flip this one and change that to a multiplication. Okay, so there's that right there. And then we just start cross dividing. So I'm going to divide by three with these guys. Three goes into three once, three goes into nine three times. So there's that right there. And then take a look at these. We can divide these guys by four. Four goes into four once, so we'll cross that out, make it a one, and four goes into eight two times, so that becomes a two. Then we just multiply top times top over bottom times bottom, so three times two is six, one times one is one, so six over one just equals six. Okay, the, the problem where kids get mixed up a lot is, is uh, PIM, well, no, 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 uh, well, on this one, changing to an improper fraction, it's the next one here. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> We're going to um, show you by using a model here, so let's check by using a model. Sorry about that. I forgot I put this in there. Um, so here we're going to do 2 and a fourth uh, divided by 3 eighths. Okay, so since this is 2 and a fourth, here's 3 squares. 2 and a fourth is somewhere over here. To find out, let's just cut it. We cut them in fourths in the last le lesson. So if I slice it right in half right there and then slice it in half and slice it in half again and do that with each of those, it'll cut uh, those uh, units into fourths right there. Okay, so Here's one, here's two, and here's two and a fourth. So this guy is my two and a fourth right here. Now, since we're dividing by three eighths, we're checking to see if we can get it six times. So what I'm going to do is cut these fourths up into eighths. If I cut all these squares in half, then they become eighths. Because half of a fourth is an eighth. So we'll just cut it right here. There's one eighth, and this would be two eighths, which is one fourth. This will be three eighths. This will be four eighths, which is one half. This will be 5 eighths. This will be 6 eighths, which is 3 fourths. 7 eighths, 8 eighths, and so on. So there they are, divided up into eighths right there. Okay, now let's just count off. How many 3 eighths can we do? So here's 1, so here's 1 eighth, 1 eighth, 1 eighth. Here's 3 eighths. So here's 1 3 eighths right there. And then 1, 2, 3. Here's another 3 eighths right there. And they just keep doing it. 1, 2, 3. We're going to see how many it takes to get over here. It's going to be 6. So if I do it again, again, there's 4, there's 5, and finally 6. So there's 6 3 eighths that goes into 2 and a fourth. Okay, probably won't do the model method, but if that helps you understand, then fantastic. Okay, I, I like it. Okay, let's do that with this. So we're first going to change those to improper fractions. Okay, so 6 times 3 is 18. 18 plus 5 is 23. So the new top number for this guy is 23. 3 times 1 is 3. 3 plus 2 is 5. So the new top number for this fraction is going to be 5. So now we have this improper fraction divided by that improper fraction, KFC. Okay, there it is. So we're going to keep that fraction the same, flip that one so it becomes a 3 fifths and change division to a multiplication. Keep, flip, change okay all right and then um, uh, now we can just start cross canceling the only thing I can divide is this 3 and this 6 5 and 23 they're both prime numbers that doesn't work so 3 goes into 3 once 3 goes into 6 two times and then we just multiply across 23 times 1 over 2 times 5 as long as we get everything canceled we don't have to worry about reducing it later so that's 23 tenths and then and goes into 23 two times, and we have three left over, so this will become two and three tenths. Okay, so there's that guy right there. And typically, you guys, if they start with mixed numbers, end your answer with a mixed number. Okay, um, all right, so here we go. So here we're going to use order of operations. So remember, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, or 
improper for oh, let's let's change them to improper fractions first and we'll deal with that i'm sorry you guys all right so uh four times five is 20 20 plus one is 21 so this will become 21 fourths one times eight is eight plus one is nine so this will become nine eight so there's that right there okay and then uh now we're going to do PEMDAS. so we do parentheses first, there's no parentheses. We do exponents second, there's no exponents. We do multiplying or division third, and there's a division sign. So we have to do this guy first before we can subtract the two thirds. Now conveniently, this is first, so you know even if you did it first, it wouldn't be out of order. But in the next one, our multiplying and dividing is going to be over here, and we're going to have an addition and subtraction over here. So PEMDAS is always the correct order. All right, keep change flip. So we're going to flip this and make it 8 ninths and change that to a multiply right there. Okay, so there it is. And then let's cross cancel here. Let's see, I'm going to divide by... 4. 4 goes into 4 once. 4 goes into this 8 two times. And then 3 goes into 9 three times. 3 goes into 21 seven times. Okay, so as long as we can uh, reduce it, now we can just go ahead and multiply these two fractions. Remember, we've got, still got to take off two-thirds at the end. So 7 times 2 over 1 times 3. It's going to get us uh, 14 over 3. So we have 14 thirds minus 2 thirds. Nice. We have common denominator. So we just subtract 14 minus 2 is 12. So 12 thirds. And then 3 goes into 12 four times. So the answer is 4. All right. Let's see. I think we have a um, yeah, real life application here. So it's it's the same stuff. You guys are just putting it into a word problem here. So so th this lesson is dividing mixed numbers. So we're going to divide these two numbers here. So on a serving of tortilla soup or one serving of tortilla soup is one and two thirds cups. A restaurant cook makes 50 cups of this soup. So it's in this big bowl and there's 50 cups of soup in there. And if one serving is one and two thirds cup, will the 50 cups be enough to serve 35 people and explain? Okay, so to figure out how many servings there are, we're going to divide 50 cups divided by how many can we do? And we divide it by one and two thirds. Okay, so to find the number of available servings, we divide, okay, 50 by one and two thirds. Okay, so here we go. All right, so now I'm going to um, uh, change this to an improper fraction. I'll change that to an improper fraction also, make it 50 over 1 right there, okay? All right, and then now we're keep flip change. So I'm keep this one the same, flip this one to 3 fifths and change that to a multiply right there. Okay, so we're going to, and they say multiply by the reciprocal of 5 thirds, which is 3 fifths. That's just code word keep flip change okay all right so there it is right there and then we start canceling uh, so i can cancel five goes into five once five goes into 50 10 times so when we do that we get that and there's nothing else that can cancel so now we just multiply top times top over bottom times bottom we get 30 over 1 30 over 1 is 30 okay so the answer is 30. all right one more you guys almost done boring you guys oh i'm sorry i forgot to answer the question 30 what? Well, it asks, uh, can we serve 35 people? No, we can only serve 30 people. So because 30 is less than 35, there's not enough soup to serve those 35 people. Oh, oh I stumbled three times on this. I'm sorry. All right, so one more, you guys. Let's evaluate this. Okay, so I don't know. I'll, I'll just click and see what I did. Okay, so division comes first. All right, so we're going to divide those. I wasn't sure if I was going to change them to an improper fraction first or what. But that's coming up now. So let's change those to improper fractions. 5 times 2 is 10. 10 plus 4 is 14. 14 fifths. 4 times 1 is 4. 4 plus 3 is 7. 7 fourths. Okay, now keep flip change okay we're doing multiplication and division first so we're going to add this two fifths at the very end addition and subtraction comes at the end i'm dealing with the division first which changed to a multiply so we do multiply and division before we do addition and subtraction all right is there anything that can cancel yes seven goes into seven once seven goes into 14 uh two times okay so i divided those by seven and then we can multiply uh two times four is eight five times one is five so that becomes eight fifths all right now they have common denominators so when we add these two we just add the top two fifths plus eight fifths is two plus eight over five which is ten fifths okay so uh, we get ten fifths and then so we're going to get um, 
the answer is 2. So 10 divided by 5 is 2. Sorry about that. I'll get that little circle out of there. All right, you guys. I hope that makes sense. And take care.